Hello, hello, this is Victor from Poker Games, and I am doing a video on the audio and the music for Dozer's Gem Jam, which is our latest game. I'll talk a little bit about our design, uh, the audio design, and the music designs I had, and the weird challenges I ran into, and hope you find it interesting. So as we start right here, you can hear the music's kind of really upbeat. I wanted to do a switcheroo. At the very beginning, you hear it kind of kind of depressing and sad, uh, but immediately you transition into something happy and fun, which is really what the game is. Um, it's just kind of a little joke. In fact, I want to work with Tanner to maybe time some of the gem jams. Sorry, the gem drops with uh, when the piece actually explodes into its really exuberant state. So for these menu select sounds, I used uh, very tiny samples of rocks. Um, they're very subtle. It's probably no one's ever even noticed. Um, but I think subconsciously, so here, this is the part of the piece where it's kind of slow and depressing. You're like, oh god, I'm about to be under the ground. It's going to be, whoa, never mind. So this is kind of a fun thing. One of the random fun things I like to do. Anyways, these sounds are little rock samples. Um, for my back sounds, I just simply reversed the choose sound and pitched it up a little bit. Um, it's just a simple trick. Um, so let me go into game here. So this is a debug level, but I can talk about uh, kind of what I was thinking. I knew it was going to be underground uh, as we started, so and we were going to be mining for rocks and things like that. So I knew I would need rock sounds. Um, so I went and found some avalanches, some like uh, videos of people skidding around, some dirt, um, and gems. As the sound you just heard is gem. So one of the hardest parts actually for me was, which doesn't sound very hard, is coming up with a good gem sound. I mean that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it was hard to get that though because you wanted it to stand out and you wanted it to be interesting. And another challenge was you didn't want it to clash with the music, so I actually had to write it in the same key as the music, uh, so I wouldn't step on it. Um, and I'm also a fan of music jokes, so this key is actually written in D minor, um, as an homage to D for Dozer, and minor because he is mining rocks. Um, so yeah, just a nerd fest joke. Okay, so other music things in this game, I was keep talking about the music, um, we have something in our game called Berserk. So these kind of act like Mario stars is my design for it. The music will change uh, into something frantic and fast paced because that's what Berserk is. So I again had to make sure that the gems, because you're going to be picking a lot of gems during Berserk, uh, matched the card key. Um, so here's Shockwave. So Shockwave, the design of that piece. Oh, there's a bug right there. Um, the Shockwave sound. I'll figure that out later. Um, the Shockwave piece is supposed to be very punchy. It's very, it's very much like things are getting hit in the distance and coming back to you and like echoing kind of was kind of designed. Whirlwind is very swirly. It's very up and down and up and down and up and down. And it's just to sound like you're in the middle of a bunch of uh, of a, like a tornado or something. So something else we're doing during the music is we're actually uh, not pausing the music, we're just ducking it. Because uh, if we pause it, then you'll end up hearing the entire piece uh, the first time you hear you play through it. So if you duck it though, that means there's parts of it you won't hear. So it gives the illusion of more music there than there actually is. It's a little trick for you people out there. Um, some challenges I actually have the sound effects were I wanted to put sounds on him missing, which is this. So if I swing once, he actually swings three times. Um, so I had a sound that was literally t -t -t. It's very small. It's like he's whiffing. Um, I had to make sure that those were edited exactly to the, I think, three or four milliseconds. Otherwise, oh, here's another music thing. When we get down to time, we get 10 seconds, so you hear the clock, you hear this like ominous like strumming, and then death happens. And 
It's really depressing. And my design here was that you were laying in a coffin or in a grave and they were shoveling in dirt on you. <laughs> this is kind of my thought on it. Um, let's go back in. Um, so there's also unique sounds. Let me access the menu and turn down the music so you can hear this a little easier. Um, so I have different sounds for the type of rock you hit. So here's nothing. That's supposed to be really subtle, understated. Um, here's what happens when I hit a rock, a gray rock, and nothing. So that's a bug. <laughs> um, I was supposed to make a unique sound when you punch it. I'll look into that later. Here is what happens if you hit the moss rock. So it's like a, it's supposed to be like a damp, like you're hitting a, like a damp rock. It's kind of just thinking. I'm not sure why it's not always playing. That's interesting. Hmm. I don't. I don't know. Anyways, so here is yellow. This is, I think, sandstone. Here is uh, whatever this is. I don't remember. Oh, mineral rock, I believe. Kind of a dirt sound. This is lava rock. Um, and here's obsidian. So, the unique sounds. And this is the fail sound. This is if you're ever hitting a block that uh, you can't break. It's supposed to be kind of faily. If you spam it, you can actually hear some of the reverb in the back. Uh, and these are just invisible rocks. Um, yeah, so a really challenge here is because it's a very spammy game, uh, especially if you have Berserk. Um, and you're just crushing through rocks, is making sure that nothing steps on each other is actually a really annoying thing in these kind of games to hear sounds that, that clash and just overlap and sound terrible. Um, so that's kind of a challenge for me. It probably still sounds terrible. Uh, I'm so weirded out by this bug. Does it only work from the top? Is that it? Yep, I think that's it. Um, let me see what else. So we also have this dynamite. Now, in, this was a very last-minute change we put in our last-second feature, um, and I really had nothing to go on except Derek explaining it as it'll be like a block you hit, and it'll be like boom, 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 and I was like, all right. So I literally made exactly what he said. Uh, Tina though went ahead and drew a TNT thing, which is actually better than just a weird block. Um, so I'm going to need to change the sound of this to like a hissing or sizzling, but this is what it sounds like right now. Mm -hmm. 